Welcome back. This is M Dog, and we are here. Episode is it ten? Am I even getting that right? Let's see. I should pull this up anyway. I meant to read some of the comments last time. I never got around to it. Um, let's see. Maybe that. Ri we are now on episode ten. In fact. And we are back at Mosquito. So hopefully you saw the last episode, but we are now able to use Pearl Barley as a bait because we've been able to craft it. So we're gonna make a beeline here. It's what, 12, 1, 2, 3, 30 in the afternoon. And obviously we are starting way early on this bream spot, but we wanna see how healthy is it. It's, and it's hard to tell with one rod, but that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be fishing with one rod. Oh, let's don't forget to dig, right? Fishing with one rod for bream and then potentially we will try to go um, maybe catch some rough. I don't know, I don't. I think we'll start off with rough at least, but let's see if I can remember where this spot is. It's like uh, 67, right? Should be right around this, right here. Sort of a weird spot, kind of at the edge of that four meter hole. If I'm not mistaken, we were at 15 meter clip last time and so we are using pearl barley we are also using a size six hook we have a 3.2 fluorocarbon leader on and we're using this uh, fake bream mix i'm really second guessing having semolina as a base but we'll see how this goes i think next batch we'll go back to ground crackers as base but with the same other ingredients at this point, I think that's about as good as we can do in terms of bream. And then I guess what we're going to do over here is kind of set up with 24 hook and worm. Let's see, is 15 meters good from this spot? Yeah, but we're safer with 20, right? Or maybe 18. Let's go 18. Just trying to make sure that we are inside this four meter hole over here. And we're gonna do this with worm and with red worm. It's a good sign that our other rod's going off so far, uh, so quickly though. All right, we'll go 18 on this one as well. No ground bait uh, to start with at least. We have used roach ground bait in the past to, to fish for rough and other stuff out here. But for now we're gonna do no ground bait and let's see if we in fact have caught a bream here again it's way early but we kind of want to see the health of this spot are the bream active enough to bite in off hours what time do they start getting to be decent sized all those questions and uh, that's a good sign we had a pretty quick bite there and we do of course want to keep digging Get those red worms. Now that we're using them as baits, we gotta stay on top of finding red worms. And that'll probably be what we do for most of this episode. Uh, I did check the cafe before coming out here and there really wasn't much. Um, I guess there was one rough order, but, but it was like, it was the rough order that takes a couple nights to get, like over a hundred gram. I think you need like six of them. So just using two rods, I mean, I don't think we're gonna hit that in, in one night, but we'll see. Yeah, really good sign that we're getting Good quick action. This is a crucian actually. We don't mind that. Uh, one thing I didn't do, let's go ahead and change it. Let's go to Paternoster. And this is with the new update now. Used to, if you switch to Paternoster, everything gets dumped and you have to reapply it. But now when you change rigs, it um, stays, if it can stay with what you have on, it stays with what you have on. So we are now gonna use Paternoster instead of basic bottom rig since we have reached what was it 25% on bottom fishing when we unlocked that 
So very exciting. We'll see if Paternoster works here just as well. Alright, what are we catching on Red Worm at the moment? It's a little early for rough. So maybe Crucian, Gibble, something like that. I think this might have a little fish on it too. Nope. Can we dig a red worm every time we use a red worm? We don't have very many, so we got to try to stay on top of it, or we'll have to start purchasing them. We have 30, so we'll see. Red worms are definitely, definitely doing well over here. Nice crucian. Does it seem like the bite rate has slowed down since we changed it to Patternaster? It's possible. I don't know. Typically for Bream, I would use Loop Rig, but Inline also works really well. Um, Paternoster should be fine though. I need a red worm. Four hook on the worm and 22 on the red worm. Sort of in a holding pattern here until nighttime hits. If nighttime hits and it's still Seems like it's slower on Paternoster. We'll switch back to basic bottom, but I think we'll be okay once it's nighttime. Which, so, we could go ahead and make the ground bait, ground crackers, millet porridge, and the fly maggots with sunflower oil. This will be our, I think, our new fake bream mix. After we use up the first stack, we'll probably switch to that. Oh, I think we have a fish on here. go an intricate foreign word we caught our first fish on Paternoster surely something's over here right I think there was a white bream order but Again, that feels like an off catch. I don't know that we're going to get that consistent enough to get five or whatever we need for the order. But we'll see. Yay. We got two red worms and points. So I would say the goal here, maybe in an overnight session with a couple of decent bream, 
and however many ro uh, rough and whatever else we catch like is there a way for us to get about 50 silver in this overnight session and then um, start moving ever closer and closer to getting that second nice feeder and, and then the, then we can start going for bream a little more aggressively at night and then doing some other fun stuff during the day perhaps so there's a nice rough that's what we want to see marker rough 47 grams probably worth what one and a half silver something like that far from camp if we wanted to get some more tea and craft some tea it depends on how slow it's going to be overnight here thinking about putting that roach ground bait back on those two rods if for no other reason than it forces us to make ground bait I and mean, we just need to be making lots of ground bait in fact we probably ought to just make some with just cracker base just to level it up some and um, just toss them out but I don't know. Sometimes I think the rough do just as well, if not better, without the ground bait. But we've caught plenty of rough recently on the roach ground bait in this leveling series, at least. Maybe we're fishing for bream in the wrong spot. We just caught two in a row over here. Ooh. Never mind. This would be pretty early for a decent bream. But we will take it if that is what it is. Pearl barley. So, how often do you see tench come in on pearl barley? I don't feel like that's very common. I think you get roach, crucian gibble, bream, and then the the other possibility here might be some sort of carp. You start using the bread, doughy baits, you always have a small chance of hitting a carp, even here at Mosquito. But chances are it's a bream, even though it is early for it. It looks like a bream to me. That's what we're after right there. Healthy bream. Lots of XP for our level, even after the nerf. And still same old good silver that it's always been. Right, we should have done some digging there. We start gonna start getting rough on red worms. Is it late enough? Bite rate's picking up on all three rods, it feels like.
Might be worth holding on to some of these rough because in the next like one to two in-game days, there's going to be a lot of turnover on mosquito orders. So it's possible that some of the rough will just be worth keeping to see what happens order-wise. Another fish on red worm. So if you are digging up plenty of red worms, I've often thought that on average, the rough could be a little more active on red worm versus regular worm. But if you have to purchase the red worm, uh, worms are just so much cheaper slash free. Um, it's not worth switching to red worms. Just stay with regular worm. You get plenty of rough that way and plenty of, plenty of decent ones. But it's at least always worth testing. If you have access to plenty of red worms, then uh, it's worth testing to see which one's doing better at the moment. Oh, does this feeder rod have... Yeah, so we could put this on 14 gram quiver tip. It's our first chance to change the quiver tip. A lighter quiver tip will pick up more sensitive cautious bites where a heavier quiver tip like this one uh, is a little better at hooking or showing bites on heavier stronger fish but these cheap feeder rods don't have any options they just come with the one quiver tip size but as you start getting nicer equipment you will have the ability to switch it I think we just go ahead and check this rod while we're here, make sure. Yeah, right now the red worm is definitely outperforming the worm in terms of bite rate. Now, what's the hook difference? Yeah, it's even got a bigger hook, so you wouldn't necessarily think that would happen, but it seems like it is. Can't say quality, though. A lot of these really small rough have been caught on red worm as well. I did not mean to pick that up. That is my fault. That will likely ruin that bite, that nibble. All right, give me one second. All right, it's nighttime. Let's just see some bream. Healthy rough on worm. Oof.
someone asked uh, in a recent video, do I overfeed the spot if I use ground bait all night? No, not typically. It's typically fine to use ground bait all night. It is worth some. It is something that's probably worth uh, playing around with. You may occasionally want to take the ground bait out for you know two or three in-game hours if you're going to be sitting in a spot for a long time. But um, we should have known that was going to be a gibble. It just was nibbling on it so long. But you don't often overfeed with ground bait just sitting in a feeder cage, in my experience. But some of that's because you don't typically want to sit at the same spot just constantly for you know too long in a row anyway just in terms of fishing the spot out when you start using pva and heavier feeding types i think you become a little bit more aware of overfeeding and kind of watching trends with that but server delay another nice uh, marker rough so we are Certainly hitting the rough here on both worm and red worm. How are we doing on sizes? We have the one really nice one, but three markers as well. So pretty pleased with that. Only the one nice bream so far. Very small. Yeah, at 15 meters, we're not making it to that four meter hole anyway. But I believe that that is what the spot that I saw a few days ago called for so and, and we've definitely seen bream here at this distance but 15 meters just isn't quite making it to the four meter hole so that we're trying 20 meters 22 maybe but like I said we're catching bream here so it's working it's working So the appropriate size leaders that we would like to use are sold out. And, and this is where maybe it's worth testing a mono leader. Maybe it's worth testing no leader at all. I tend to think that unlike Crucian Gibbles, Rough, that kind of stuff, I tend to think that Bream are a lot more cautious. And so leaders matter more with them. But we're really robbing ourselves of a, of a significant amount of strength by staying with a 3.2 liter when we've got, you know, a four kilo reel and um, 
six kilo rod that we're fishing with. And you, I think at least can go up to 5.4 liter on bream and still expect uh, really nice sizes. I mean, I used to fish bream on 9.8 fluorocarbon liters or line and still catch trophies and stuff. So these days though, people are really aggressive with bream I find, and it does seem to work sometimes uh, using larger hooks than you would think, like large one or even bigger hooks and then small leader sizes like 5.4 or so this is a nice bream this is why we're here and you know we hope to eventually be here with two or even three rods doing this i'll be surprised if there's not a fish on one or both of these after that amount of time. <sighs> Sounds like another quick bite on the bream line, potentially. It's a good sign. Redworm has slowed down a little bit. It's about the same bite right now as worm was earlier. Redworm was seemed like much better, but... Is there already a fish on or just nibbling still? Looks like there is a fish on to me. Yeah. But we want to be careful in that friction brake. Make sure you drop the friction brake back down when you put the rod down in case you hit a three kilo in or something. Another nice bream. It's looking good. Patternoster working, ground bait working, hook size, size six working. Everything looks good right now. So, still no bites on red worms. Wow. Okay. What was I going to run back to town for? Oh, get free food real quick. know if it's been long enough to get free food but we can try also want to pick up some cracker ground bait possibly some tea we don't want to overspend um, but we're also we can't just completely shut down spending we need to keep progressing on ground bait cooking and bait harvesting But it is worth prioritizing getting another upgraded feeder. I guess the other thing we could do is check out, just make sure nothing's changed on the leader stock. I'm sure it hasn't. I don't remember for sure if there was like a four. Um, might as well just get 10 of these cracker ground crackers for now. And then two more of the millet porridge and maggots. I wonder if we're getting low enough to get uh, um, yeah, we've still got five. Alright, so leaders. Let's just look at feeder leaders so we don't get confused. 
Oh, this one's out of stock now? Well, it was at winding, though. It might not be out of stock at winding. 5.4, even though that's bigger than what we have, would be better than... Give us a little bit more strength. We just can't use these yet, although they're out of stock anyway. Definitely can't use those. Five would be acceptable, out of stock. Nine's just too big. 6.8. It's kind of ridiculous. So I don't think so. Fish are definitely owned, so let's just grab. Oh, wait. Did we do the food? We must have. So let's just grab tea. I don't even know if we'll do it now, but sometime soon. I think that's good. Yeah, this rough order, we're just never getting there unless you just focus on rough for um, maybe like two overnights with all three rods. It is nice silver, uh, but I think it's only worth going for that if, like in our situation, if there was like multiple rough orders. So if there was one more certainly if there was two more then yeah you go for the rough orders and even if you don't get the big one you get the small smaller ones or if you don't you know if you if you don't have pearl barley yet if you can't go for bream at all then yeah it's probably worth just going for the rough We need to check this line first. It's at least not pulling, so maybe there's not a fish on that one. We'll see. If there's not a fish on red worm here, I'll be really surprised. Let's go with common roach for a bit. Crazy, huh? Let's just recast it then. So strange fishing for bream on one rod though. It's I, I don't I'm not sure that I've really ever done this before. I can't remember, but uh, I'm I'm so used to fishing for bream with three rods that it's going to be impossible for me to really say with confidence, you know, what this spot is like. And we've got three over a kilo. If it's a really good old berg Volkov bream spot and you're fishing with three rods you expect at least 12 to 18 over a kilo but you know this is mosquito we don't expect it to compete with Volkov or uh, or uh, especially old Berg necessarily So we're at 18 meter clip over here with the rough and we're at 15 meter clip at the bream spot.
So we are now minus two from when we were at 30 on red worms. Feels like we've had a few digs though where we've only gotten worms, so we're losing more than we're gaining now. But if we keep the digging up, there will be times where we're not using red worms at all, so it may not be necessary to purchase any. It just depends on how heavy we go red worms at winding, really. I think. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to probably keep some of these rough in the net just in case there's just like a easy rough order that pops up later tonight. We have a bunch now at various sizes. Even if we sell the markers, it might be worth keeping, you know, five over a 20. That order pops all the time, it seems like. You'd love to see one more over a kilo come out here before 7, 8 a.m., 9 a.m. when it's going to slow down. Because there's no cafe orders to complement what we're doing, we haven't done that good on silver, but we're learning information, we're grinding it out, we're getting there on being able to try to hit some bream. And we're definitely catching the rough. Can't quite tell if the line's moving or not. I think it is, but I'm not sure. That's a nice rough if it's a rough. <laughs> Probably not a rough though. It's getting to be daytime again. St other stuff will start coming in, right? Gibble or Crucian alert, perhaps. Not sure yet, but the longer this keeps going. Ooh, maybe not. That might be our final bream.
I just hope this isn't a common carp. It's a bream. It should be another nice one. We were low on energy, so it's going to look a little bigger than it really is, but uh, it should still be, you know, significantly over a kilo, I would say. One and a half kilo, maybe. Yeah. That's what we want to see. Almost two. Almost two kilos. So let's see. Alright, wait, there's, there's no point in keeping the lines in the water, at least as they're currently set up past, you know, nine o'clock at, at the latest, so I think we just get one more fish off of uh, each spot and then wrap it up. can't tell there might be a fish on there this might have been the bells that we were hearing though another rough rough will keep biting until what 10 a.m. or so pretty decently mm. whoa interesting this it's almost like an eyed I, I don't think this is a bream unless it's just really acting weird something small but just was kind of just sitting there yeah it's a chub that is strange yep pearl barley and chub that does become a reality during the day I suppose and one last rough it looks like on the on the worm on the red worm so you can see our our uh, level it's moving pretty quick to be going between 11 and 12 it's not going to take that long to uh, open up old berg but and uh, belaya by the way but opening up old berg and belaya really isn't your concern at this point your concern is silver I think only one cafe order has changed during the time we've been fishing. If I looked correctly at the times earlier. Yeah, there used to be a uh, common carp trophy order. Now it's a tench. So really nothing we're looking at right now. Uh, let's see what the total is here. So 54 silver. We did hit 50 silver. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Um, a lot of that's just going to be with the bream. Yeah, 32 silver with bream. Go ahead and sell that. That chub's almost 4 silver. 4.5 for the crucian. 1 for the gibble. Nothing for the tench. Nothing for the white. And then rough, we've got 12 silver. I'm actually tempted to keep them all. Uh, the only one I'd possibly sell is 124. I don't see us going for that order, even if it pops again later. 
but the other two orders we would have some flexibility so let's just keep all the rough we're at 107 silver with we'll make at least 10 more off the rough we have maybe more if cafe orders pop um, we can dig one more time here let's just get a final look at kind of where we stand across the board so we're at 23.8 now on harvesting baits getting red worms 27.3 on bottom fishing not a lot changes at 35 because we're not going to have the gear for carp fishing at that point anyway cooking slowly making progress we've got to get more aggressive with ground bait uh you know 15 percent get second level i mean you just need to build it up we, we need to be at some point we've got to transition to just um you know even if we're just doing this over and over to get points 3.2 uh, even if we're just doing that and then ground cracker sunflower oil did I leave sunflower oil on it that's my fault anyway even if we're just doing that and then tossing it um, it's worth the silver to level that up because you want to be able to make more and more uh, specific recipes of ground bait and right now we just can't so we're at 107.8 uh, even if we don't hit nice cafe orders if we do what we just did we'll pretty much have enough to get a second feeder and then we can go after the bream a little bit more aggressively and that'll make a difference also I'm curious to try that uh, other ground bait flavor once we have a second feeder rod to go for bream we could also do a little like same size hook, same ground bait, same bait, but use pattern oster versus basic bottom to see if we see any uh, patterns there. So that could be interesting. All right. Thanks for joining. And I will see you a little later on. Tight lines, everybody.